Hey everyone, what's up? Well, now that I've got all these updates settled with my previous video, now it's time to feed the teas. So the last time I fed the teas was around three weeks ago. I've been very busy. Now it's going to be more hectic now since I'll be starting school next week. So I guess uh, this time we'll do alphabetical order and then hopefully we'll put on a good show. Here's a look alike to the Genicolata, only this is a a Brockle Hersey, the giant white banded. This is Sasha. And you're a six inch female. Very hungry specimen. Is my Acanthoscuria genicolata, the Brazilian giant white knee. Uh, this is Derek, a three inch male. Looks great after he molted. Yeah, this is why I wanted some better lighting in my videos. So you can see here is the Phonopalma Simani, the Costa Rican Zebra. You can see there's a lot of blue going on on her. And I don't think she's interested. Oh well. Alright, now for the Apex. Okay, one of the most common Avicularias. For beginners, this is the Vicularia Vicularia, the pink toe. Now this one here is Annabelle. Oh, she wanted that. Yep, she got it. You can see her fangs. Isn't she the cutest? Here's one intense Weber. This is my Vicularia Hurriana, the Ecuadorian woolly pink toe. Six inch female named Anna. Yeah, she grabbed it. It's one of my only Apex that web a lot. All my other ones don't really. Well, except for my A later. Alright, Vicularia Leita, the Puerto Rican pink toe. She's around two inches. <laughs> Talk about quick. Very quick and also very mean. She's like my tappies. She likes to flare her fangs. One of the more defensive uh, Avix, but I personally find these are much more easier to take care of as a sling than your common ones like A Versicolor, A Avic, and A Metallica. Here's Kat, she's an A Urticans female, giant Peru pink toe. There we go. Had to help her. Okay, before I go on to my brackies, I just received yet another molt. Overlook this one. This is my Foligious Crassy Peeps. Uh, this is the Queensland Whistling Spider from Australia. About a four inch female. Okay, so my larger female wouldn't eat, so we'll try to feed my little smaller one named Joy. This is a Brachypelma Alpiceps, the Mexican Gold Red Rump. Beautiful. Here's Leon, my male Bioratum, the Mexican flame knee. And I guess side by side, there's the female Claire, brother and sister. Yep, yeah, Claire got it. Here's an update on the Bibomi, Molina. It's like a two and a half inch uh, female. It's been refusing food a lot. Oh no, no, you don't.
Yeah, not a good hungry eater compared to my older one, Katana. Uh, who passed away due to old age. Here's my Brachy Palma Emilia, the Mexican painted red leg named Emilia. She's a two and a half inch female. And she hits hard. <laughs> kind of like a jack in the box. Here's another hard hitter. This is uh, Petunia. She's my B Classy. Mexican pink. we go. Yeah, just like good old Katana. Here's Scarlet, Brachypelma Smithy, Mexican Redney. One of my favorites. Good girl. And here's Athena. She is the other one, larger than Scarlet. Yep, and just as hungry too. Alright, here's Morticia, Bee Vagans, mature female. She's like seven inches. Mated her, it went well. Uh, she made a sock and then unfortunately she destroyed it. But, she's doing well. Here's my smaller Vagans. Uh, this one here is Annette. Which did a perfect job. Here's Dr. Cossack, my Brachypelma Verdesi male. Um, this is the Mexican Rose Gray. Awesome. Here's Kalinka, she's the female Verdesi. There we go. Here's Fantasia, a crossbreed between a Vagans and Verdesi, known as a Mexican fantasy. That's why I chose the Fantasia name for her. Really cool. Such pretty tea, even though it is a hybrid. Okay, so about an hour into the feeding video now, we are at Kilo Brachy's Guanasiensis, the Chinese font. As you can see, one of my heaviest Webers. Oh, I see a molt there. Oh my god, she molted. Not gonna feed her. Oh my god, look how big she goes now. She looks to be around the 5 inch mark now. I would say a good estimate. Where's that molt? Oh yeah, the molt's there. Cool. Here's my GBB, Chromatopalma pubescens, Valencia. We all know she's a very, very picky eater. But I'll try once more with a super worm to see if she'll go for it. Well, I think she got it. But she's an amazing colored specimen. Critopholus ramsey, the Cuban pygmy. What a beautiful tea. Also one of my faster growing ones. Here's an Aphobopus moranus, the skeleton. Philomena, I got for Christmas. Ooh, nice one. Here's an Aphobopus rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. Very quick. Here's Pink Floyd, mature male E. Capristratus, the pink zebra beauty.
Wow. Look at him go for an old guy. Here's Roy, Grandma Solopulcra, male, Brazilian black. Come on, Roy, you can get it. Good boy, my man. Yeah, he's been refusing food for the past couple of weeks, finally be able to feed him in front of the camera. That was awesome. Alright, now for some G Poker Peas. This is Wendy, my smaller female. This is her sister, Peach, who's a little bit larger. And still hungry as ever. And here's Charlotte, the largest one. She's around six inches. Almost full grown. Okay, so here's Morris Rose, the rose hair red form male. I just checked his fangs, they're dark, so he's ready to be feed. So, let's see his awesome prowess. Well, there we go. Good old self. His big old Talia, the Grandma Sola Rosea, Chilean Rose. Good girl. Okay, here's Michaela, the rose hair normal form. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be breeding with Paul's mature male named Zeus. Cool. So I'm going to feed her one superworm for the next uh, three days. And then we'll attempt to mate it, see if it works. Here, Paul, here's your male. This is Zeus. Hope you like supers. Oh, yes, he does. Alright, you're going to be mated very soon. Hopefully, you'll get some nice uh, babies for you. Here's the Pulpus species Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. That's what they look like. Are showing its adult colors. So far it's about an inch. Oh, beautiful. Did it all by herself. Alright, here's Abby, Holotheli Incy. Trinidad Olive. She wants it. Yeah, this is looks to be an adult female. Um, you don't get very big. Ah, there we go. All right, this is my Lampropelma valsiopis. Singapore blue. which looks to me like a female from the ventral side. <laughs> Fell into a trap. Love it. Lassiodora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater. Alright, my last Eudora Fracta will not be fed in this feeding video uh, because I'm not sure if you can actually see. Just move this a bit more. There we go. That's better. See the blue black bald spot? In pre molt. Nikos fangs look pretty dark. If you 
can actually see. Yeah, he's strut posing. Hmm. Ooh, nice one. <laughs> that was cool. That's your typical Lassiodora appetite. They have voracious appetites and they will not refuse food. The only time I've seen Lassiodoras refuse food is when they are in pre-molt. Just like you saw with the Fracta. Alright, now for some Parahibana now. Alright, so the first one I'll feed is Goma. Like a pro. And here is... Daniela. Yeah, she's the largest one. Also recently molted too. And this may not be very easy, but uh, I'll try anyway. Uh, Lactrodectus geometricus. This is my Madagascar brown widow. And there we go, she got it. Call her Marie Antoinette. I thought she'd get a nice, uh, cool video of this. Yeah, that's all poop there. Fun. Oh, Kirk is coming back. All right, let her do her own thing, and then let's uh, move on to uh, some of my other teas. All right, next up is Flora. She is my Linotheli phallox, the Bolivian diplorid, also found in Venezuela. You can note that they have incredibly long spinnerets, and that's what Mix them diplorids. They're not tarantulas. But that was a cool attack. And let's go to some other ones. Okay, next up I got a request from another user. I believe it's John. Wanted me to film my Nandu Chromatis eating. Okay, so there she is. This is a four inch female named Nadia. Very beautiful Nandu species. And looks like not interested. Oh, pretty cool tea though. Okay, Nandu Colorado Velosus, Brazilian black and white. I can't stand the hairs of these species. They are very itchy. Here's Darius, Nandu Tripepi male. Giant strawberry blonde bird eater. I just love these Tripepi. They're such great attack artists. Whoop, gotta answer the phone. Alright, here's Ocean, an Oligosteri dia mentinensis. Not sure what the common name on this one is, but they look like GBBs. And they attack them just like it. There we go. You see that? Wow, you can really see the blue legs. He's sort of green abdomen and little tip of orange hair. Very rare in the hobby. Alright, this one here is a suspect female for Mictopus aratus, the Cuban bronze. One of my mean teas. <laughs> there we go. I'm actually getting a platus tomorrow. So I'll be filming that once I get it. The spawn from hell. It's my Femictopus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater. Jeez. 
You can tell. She's a meanie. Alright, this is the new Pekin Sarides I got from the pet store. Someone chose a perfect name for her, Jezebel. I love it. Oh yeah. Definitely very hungry. And Angelo did not disappoint me on this one. Pokey time now. My lovely female, one of my favorites in my collection, is my Pocotheria Barra. The Arvry Lowland Ornamental. So much that I'm craving for another one. Which I did. Alright, here we go. Charmaine. Work your magic. Yeah, you can see easily see why. The Barra is my favorite pokey. You can see how dark in contrast it is much more different than you would see from a P. regalis. Love the species. Also quite mellow too for a pokey. Next is my smaller P. fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. That's it. Oh goodness gracious! He had another molt. Look how lovely my P. Formosa is now. She's getting bigger. And probably meaner too. So, let's see if uh, she'll eat. Looks to be an old molt, so I'm sure she's going to eat. Ooh. Maybe not. She's looks to be six inches. All right, let's move on to the next one. Pocotheria hanumavila simica, the Ramesh Warm Ornamental. Nice dive. Yeah, Zafina. Hopefully, this is a suspect female. All righty, gorgeous Mia is coming out. This is 100% confirmed female. Hopefully she's going to eat. Probably not. Yeah, nervous. Alright, this is a P. Miranda. Mango spotted ornamental. Great looking pokey. Alright, here's Joelle, my P. Ornata. She's like 8 inches. Grabbed it. So let me get my flashlight so you can see what she looks like. There she is. She's a monster. Alright, Pocotheria Petersoni, Ghost Ornamental, male, again. Oh, that was cool. Hopefully one of these days I'll struck luck and find a female. Alright, that's better. So, here's Zelda, the Mother Regalis of my slings. I'm not sure how did she see that. Oh, she did. There we go. And she is huge. Yeah, she's like eight inches. All right, look who's towering right here in front of us. This is Caitlin, my seven-inch female P. Rufilata that I've raised ever since she was a half an inch sling.
Okay, this one here is a male Rufalata, a lot smaller. But just as hungry. Right, next, P. Smithy, yellow backed ornamental. There we go. You can note the folio stripe, how bright it is. On the specimen, that's a female. All right, some of post Cambridge, Trinidad Chevron. It's one of my spiralings. No problem. Here's another one starting to look like a Cambridge eye. Beautiful. And here's the third one. All attacked with gusto and brute strength. If you keep them well, you're going to get a big specimen like this one. This is Trina, the seven inch mature female, fully grown. One of the largest members of the genus. You can see the moss green as well as the red on her feet. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, this is a P. Erminia, a Venezuelan sun tiger. Here's Josie. Freshly molted. Around a good four and a half, five inches. Here's another specimen that I raised ever since she was two inches. Uh, this is my Summer Pulse Poker, Panama Blonde, Rosalina. Here, making a guest appearance. And that's about it for the Summer Pulse. That's all I have. Alright, so this one here. This is my very first centipede, first time for everything. This one here is a Scolopendra subspini, so I think this might be a mutilens, but not 100% sure. I haven't seen the comments yet on my video. I just uploaded it this morning, even though I made it two days ago. So... I don't think it's interested. Well, maybe it's charging. Ooh. All right. That's enough for this one now. Okay, Tapnikinius gigas, orange tree spire. Definitely bar passed away. So, I still have uh, two lovely females and a male. Here we go, you can see her working her fangs. Alright, this is another female. And here's the male. Alright, T. Sancti Vincenti, mature female. I'm gonna start powering feeding her so I can mate with Armando's mature male again. Beautiful. Alright, Theraphosa Sturmi, Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Here's Gretel. Come on, you can eat. Is 
she's huge. She's around uh, 10 inches. You can see she's a monster. The biggest tea that I have. Thirxopelma sanulum, the cobalt red rump. And last but certainly not least, the Zenitha simanus, the Colombian lesser black. Oh, can't feed him now. You can see he's starting to become in pre-molt now, so don't feed them unless they molt. Then week after they molt, that's when you feed them. Can't say this more than enough. And a cute video of Maggie. All right, sit. Roll over. Good girl. Pa? <laughs> Love it. All right, everyone. So that's Tarantula Feeding Video 95. Hope you enjoyed, everyone, and thanks for watching.